Hi, this is Dr. Teresa Rohr Kirch Graber coming to you from Eskenazi's Women's Center of Excellence. We're talking today about a, a topic that's close to all of our hearts and our stomachs. It's overdoing it, overeating around the holidays. And it doesn't just include food, it usually includes alcohol or some other kinds of things. So most people around the, holiday, around the holidays can gain up to five pounds just because there's more activities, there's more food out and about, people are bringing you gifts. So I wanna caution you, especially if you have any kind of medical problem like high blood pressure or diabetes, that we need to be careful and conscientious and very mindful about what we're doing when it comes to eating and drinking around the holidays. First, with every meal, be thinking about the um, different food groups that you do need to still get in. So every time you reach for something, think, have I had my five servings of fruits and vegetables today? And if not, perhaps go for those first. Second, be mindful about the little things that you pick up throughout the day. That plate of cookies looks mighty nice, but you know, you can put in almost 700 calories just by snacking and you don't even realize that you've done it by the end of the day. Save your extra calories for something that you really enjoy. And if it isn't something that you really want, then think twice. Around this time too, people bring in lots of extra things, extra foods. If you, as much as you can share those with others, then feel free, package them up and bring them to a homeless shelter or, or a food kitchen or something else if it's not something that you really need at that time. So besides the foods, let's also talk about the alcohol. The holidays are a time when we do have a tendency to imbibe just a little. So be thinking, one, that it, you don't always have to be drinking just because somebody's offered it. That every other glass full should at least be a glass of something that is non-alcoholic, like water or punch or, or juice or something else. You can walk around with a very festive glass of sparkling water in your hand and nobody needs to know that it's not including vodka or something. If you are doing some drinking, you do need to be very careful about who's taking you home and how you're gonna be getting there. This is not a time for accidents. This is not a time to get into um, DUIs. This is a time for you to be joyful and celebrate with your family, so do so in a safe way. Now, when you are drinking, remember too that you still need to stay very hydrated and that's why I encourage that every other glass should be a glass of water. Um, during this season, especially when it's cold out and the heat's on, we lose a lot of moisture through our skin. Along with that, with the alcohol, with that can act as a bit of a diuretic and you end up peeing out more than you're putting in. So you have to be conscious about the amount that we're drinking. So take time this holiday season. Be mindful about what you're eating, how you're eating, and still work to include all the different food groups that you need. Remember, the goal is three to four servings of dairy a day, five to seven servings of fruits and vegetables a day, and a little bit of protein at every meal with some complex carbs. That can be things as easy as choosing the sweet potato rather than the white potato. It could be something as easy as choosing the wheat rolls rather than the white rolls. There are lots of ways of doing this. Perhaps we can bring in um, something of your choosing to the holiday events so that you know that you're gonna have something that is healthy and appropriate for you. This is Dr. Teresa Rohr-Kirch-Graber from Eskenazi. Thank you and Merry Christmas.